Hello YouTube, hello friends and people in the virtual world, welcome back to Baggies TMD uh, and welcome to another What's in the Box. Uh, today we're looking at a Sunderland Mark 1 from Italiair, uh, number 1302, 172 seconds scale. This is the 100% new mould, uh, I don't know when it was remoulded but uh, it looks interesting, a lot of photo etch with this as well that comes standard with the Italiair kit. There are six different versions. There is, um, obviously the Royal RAF, this is uh, the largest floating plane the British military used, I'd like to say. So yeah, straight in. There we got uh, bits of the photo etch that it comes with. Obviously cockpit panelling, seat bits and bobs in there as well. It's all called out in the instructions as well. Telling you where to use these bits, which is quite cool. It's a big old box, this is. It's just about fitting where I uh, do, me to, do these reviews. Uh, so it's just all the decals. Obviously, not many decals. It's a World War II plane. But yeah, look all nice in register. They do. A quick flip through the instructions. Get you in as best as we can. But yeah, tells you all where the photo etches is. You can either do decals, or then it tells you how to do the photo etch stuff where you have to claw everything off separate decal and then the photo etching on but yeah same with the seat backs as well they're photo etched it's a big old plane this is, looks like it's going to be something with the anchor so standard stuff put if you put your cockpit together fuse large halves together then you have to deal with uh, right and left fuse large oh it's bring you in to that bit, it's got a little internal section you have to mess with. You got left fuselage, gun turrets, all the uh, windshield. If you want to have the uh, gun retracted, so you can have your anchor out, landing gears that go on it. Uh, it looks a very comprehensive kit. This does bombs. Putting all the bits together, the closed doors, you've just got the landing gear there. I do believe this has got a little stand because I don't think it's got a rear wheel on it. Then you've got worse wire to do the floats on it. I say it looks a very comprehensive kit, this does. The bracing wires it has to go in. This does look very interesting. Ah, there we go, the little trolley there that you put underneath the back. So, uh, obviously, I'll say it's a boat plane, so it spends most of its time on the water and floating, but if you do have to put it on the ground, on land, you get that little trolley. Obviously, we're doing uh, all the planes we do are wheels down, so we'll uh, have that little trolley built. But yeah, so we've got a few squadrons, got two 10 squadrons, Scotland's, a couple of their schemes, uh, 95 squadron from Sierra Leone, 204 squadron from Gambia. And we've got 230 Squadron Mediterranean, two of their schemes. But yeah, it looks a very comprehensive kit. Comprehensive instructions as well. It's the 26, 23 steps, but it's a nice thick manual full of instructions. Yeah, like I say, the Short Sunderland, famous seaplane of World War II, came in service in 1938, using the Battle of the Atlantic. Um, yeah, very, uh, very interesting. Like I say, a little bit of some facts. Yeah, so here's the actual main plane itself. We've got what three bags of uh, bits and bobs. We'll move this box out of the way. Sorry if you can see my see my socks down there, but we've had to pull the camera out quite wide to get you all in view. Uh, I'm not going to take all the plastic out of the bags just in case we damage anything. But there we've got the fuselage halves. I say that's quite big. A ruler somewhere. Obviously, 30 centimetre ruler. It's bigger than that. So it is uh, quite. Sorry if you can hear any funny noises. Uh, my neighbour upstairs has got a 40 ball valve by the sounds of it. You can hear it squeaking away merrily to itself. So yeah, last night there's a the cockpit. The uh, cockpit section. Fuse line section. All looking nice and good in there. And we've got all the small detail bits. The uh, floats, propellers, wheels, 
all looking very nice. Like I say, I don't want to take it out of plastic just so it don't damage it too much. Like I say, there's a lot of plastic and a lot of fine bits. But yeah, it's all looking nice and clean and crisp. You can tell it's a new, newish kit. Like I say, I did say it was a new tool. And we've got the uh, wings. Let's just get the uh, ruler back out again. It's a wingspan. One wings roughly, what's that, about 20, 22 centimetres, which is eight and a half inches in old school money. Looks, looks a very crisp um, recessed panel lines. Got a nice little bit of grunt, grunting effect there. So two arms, looks like two halves of the wing come together and you put your propellers on the end. But yeah, it's like that, it's a very... Uh, very interesting kit that's going to be the uh, Short Sunderland. Oh, sorry, not is it Short Sunderland. That's no, Sunderland Mark. Uh, Mark Three. I keep putting it Short Sunderland for some really odd reason. Pop all them on, dropping things on the floor as normal. So, yeah, let's say a uh, quick little look there at the uh, Sunderland. I'll say it's in the stash. It'll get done at some point. But uh, sorry if the area seems like it's the same on the, every video recently. Bank holiday Monday, I've had a time off so I thought I've not had much chance to get many videos done so I'm batch recording an absolute ton of what's in the boxes at the moment just so we've got videos to go out every couple of days for you. But yeah, that's it, shot the uh, Sunderland Mark 1. If you like this video folks, don't forget to like it and to help out the channel even more. Press that subscribe button. Hopefully we can hit 100 subs by uh, Christmas. See you later guys.